everybody and welcome to Kids Face Live. I, uh, I wanted you to know that this is Bake Off, it's worth the wait. Oh, I got it in before he could say his, his comments. What were you doing? You're really proud of yourself there, aren't you? I am, I had to move fast. Woo. Well. I think I'm gonna have to show a little patience here. Patience. Yep. And you know what patience is? Waiting until later for what you want now. Well, we've been learning about patience all month, so that's good that we said what patience is. Okay, what is it again? <sighs> Waiting until later for what you want now. Waiting until later for what you want now. Yeah. Well, that's why these baking segments have been fantastic, because yeah. when you bake or cook or whatever, you have to be patient, because it takes a while for things to bake. And it's worth it. I'm an amazing maker. <laughs> for sure. All right, well, what do you have for us here, Mr. Chris? Well, today we are making homemade soft pretzels. Oh, have you ever done this before? I have never done this before. I it's why it's why. So it's going to be an experiment. <laughs> Great. And we're going to have fun. So, okay. in the bowl, Ooh. we have dough, which I have made previously. We're going to cut this into segments, okay? Okay. And what you need to do is roll is this. It sticky? A little bit. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is roll this into a. Can I roll it? Yeah, that's what yours is for you. And we're gonna make this into a long 20 to 22 inch rope. It, it's sticky. If you a need a little flour, flour, you can have flour right here. Okay. Okay. Yep, so just roll it out. Roll it into a rope? Roll it into a rope. Okay. <laughs> What are you doing? Do you know what a rope is? <laughs> it's not Play-Doh. do that? Okay, maybe I just need to be doing this. All right, I'm gonna let you roll your rope. Good job. All right. Okay, and is this a good time to take a break or do we have some more things we need to do? A uh, good time to take a break. When we get back from rolling this, we'll show you how to make it into a pretzel. Oh, awesome! Okay. What are we going to do now? We are going to go to a worship song, oh. which means everybody gets to stand up, and we're going to sing about how amazing our God is. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds good. Right, let's try this. Keep too. working on it. Okay. See, mine's coming along. See? Ooh. Our 
hope has been fulfilled, death exchanged for life. Perfect love has been revealed, our God is alive. see how they turn out. But what do I do? Well, you know the shape of a pretzel. It's like a heart and then a twist in the middle. Okay, right? got it. Yeah, that's easy. I got it. I'd eat that. Look at that. Cool. I'm impressed with myself. Good work. <laughs> I can do that. Can we show them? Yeah, show them. <laughs> Yours well, looks like a McDonald's sign. It looks like a heart. Good. I like that. Well, why are we making pretzels today? Well, what is it? I said it kind of looked like a heart. Yeah. But it also kind of looks like a hug. A hug, right? Like arms around, like this. Can yeah. you, you want to do it? If I do like a. Oh, see. Right, like a hug. Right, like a hug. You're waving to the Well, as we're learning about patience. You can pat yourself on the back, too. We are learning about that God is with us while we wait. Okay. And so it's like he gives us a big hug, right, yeah. as he waits. So that was the whole point here of the pretzels. Wait a second. We can't have to see this right now. We're going to have to wait. We're going to have to... We're gonna have to boil them real quick, and then we're gonna have to put some salt on them. Then we're gonna have to bake them. It's gonna take a long time to get to this. Oh. Well, I think we learned about patience, so oh. that's okay. Okay, well, maybe that's good. Bible Adventure Hour. Hour? Half hour, 15 minutes, whatever. <laughs> that sounds vaguely familiar. I know. <laughs> Okay. I'm going to keep working on our pretzels and we're going to be digging into the Bible. So today we are going to learn about Mary. Mary. The mother of Jesus, Mary. Okay. Okay. And we are going to talk about how maybe she had to be patient. Okay. She had to be patient? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start with Mary when she had a visit from someone very special. Okay. And it was, you're right. It was an angel. Ooh. It was the angel Gabriel. And God had sent Gabriel to give her a message. And part of this conversation is in Luke chapter 1. And so I'm going to be reading from verse 30. And it says, Mary, God is very pleased with you. You will become pregnant and you will have a son and you will name him Jesus. And he will be great and he will be called the son of the most high God. Wow. Wow. What a special privilege she had there. Absolutely. So she knows that she's going to have a baby. Yep. And, and what was it said? Name him Jesus, and he will be called the Son of the Most High God. Wow. Wow. Okay, so now we're going to fast forward. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, so the so it is as God has said, because God keeps his promises. He does. Right? And so she has a baby. Yep. She names him Jesus. And and what happens? She has some visitors. Yep. Uh, when the baby was born in Bethlehem, uh, visitors, shepherds, came, shepherds. and the shepherds had been told by angels once again yep, that angel Jesus had been born and, angels, and you yep. find him in a food trough <laughs> lying in a manger right and they went and they saw and it was true and then the sh shepherd yes. went out and said everybody the good news and we're excited about it so i'm in luke chapter 2 now and it says in verse 10 that the angels brought great news for a great joy that today in the town of David, a savior has been born. He is Christ the Lord. Wow. It's exactly the same thing that Mary was told, right? That this baby is going to be the son of God. And so those shepherds go running to find baby Jesus. And of course, Mary's there. Yep. And they are amazed. They worship the baby and, and Mary, it says something very interesting about Mary here. What does Mary do? And so this is in Mary. Oh, this is in this Mary. Is Mary. <laughs> this is in Luke chapter 2, verse 19. And this would be a great verse for you to look up with me. So I hope you've got your Bibles. If you don't, just pause us and go get those Bibles. We'll okay, be here. good. Right? Get your Bible. All right, now come on back and go to Luke. And you can look at that in your table of contents. Yep. And then you're going to want to find chapter 2, verse 19. And it says that Mary kept all these things in her heart like a secret treasure in her heart. Wow. And she thought about them over and over. So she's thinking about what has God told her, right? These secret things, how, how the angel of the Lord appeared to the shepherds and how the shepherds come. So she's thinking about these things over and over. So these are things that God has told her. They're special treasures to her. And you know what? We are loved by God too. And God has amazing things for all of us. And he keeps working in our lives over and over. And he's a very special friend. And so I think we should go to another worship song. Another worship song. And then we got to do some more wrapping of the pretzels. Yeah, what are you doing here? I'm just rolling them out so we can make more pretzels. Okay. Pretzel well, hugs. stand up and let's worship, everybody. Jesus, you have been so faithful. Jesus, you have been so true. I will be forever thankful. Cause I never had a friend like you. Help me to be who you've been to me. To everyone I see. Let us love one another with our love like no other yet. The way you love us, God. Never turn away, you are with us every day, yeah. That's the way you love us, God. Your love is always been beginning to end. There's never been a better friend. So let us love one another with our love like no other, yeah. That's the way you love us, God. You with me in the darkest valley You with me on the mountain top I'm thankful that you never leave me And that your love will never stop Help me to be who you've been to me To everyone I see Let us love one another with our love Beginning to end, 
God, we are so thankful that you are with us every day, just like we sang about. Definitely. Sure. So, okay, so we're back to, um, what's it called again? Pretzel wrapping? I almost said cooking with Mr. Chris. Oh, that would have been terrible. That's still wrong. The ba baking? What was it? Cooking with Chef Chris. Chef Chris. Oh, boy. Okay, so, oh, All what right, are we doing? Making another pretzel. Making another pretzel. Yep. Okay. Okay, nice. So, while we're doing that, Let's do a quick recap. Okay. Talking about Mary. Okay. Right? How she had a message from the angel Gabriel. Yep. The shepherds come. And now we're going to go to how Mary and Joseph bring yep. baby Jesus to the temple. And you should know what happens next. When they go to the temple, they see Simeon. That's right. And Simeon had been promised by the Holy Spirit that he would see the Savior, Jesus, by the Holy Spirit before he died. And then after Simeon saw Anna saw him. And some of you found that out in your Bibles because that was our challenge, is who who saw baby Jesus after Simeon. So that was awesome. That's yeah. right. Okay, well, it says here that after we have Simeon and Anna yep. seeing baby Jesus, right? It says that, let's see, I'm in Luke 2, verse, verse 40, and it says, that the child grew strong and he was wise and he was blessed by God's grace. Now we don't know much about Jesus' childhood no, other don't. than that. The one other time is when he went to the temple. There was a time when he went to the temple. That's right. And it says every year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for a Passover feast. And this is when Jesus was 12 years old. 12 years old, okay. And do you know what happens? It's lost. It His parents lose him, which is awful. So the festival is over, right? The parents go back home, and Jesus, you know, at 12 years old, just decides to stay behind in Jerusalem. Not a wise thing to do. Please do not do this. Well, because his parents didn't know. Right? Yep. So they thought he was somewhere in the group and they travel on for a day. Then they begin to look for him and they're like, hey, have you seen Jesus, Aunt Nancy? Uncle Fred, I mean, have you seen him? And they're like, no. So they have to go back to Jerusalem to find him. They find him after three days. Three days? Okay. Wow. And he is sitting in the temple courtyard with teachers and he's listening to what the teachers say. And everyone there is so amazed at all the things he understood. Perplexed. They're amazed at his answers, right? And so when his parents see him and who are his parents, Mary and Joseph. Right. They're amazed. And his mom, who's his mother? Mary. Mary, who we've been talking about. She says, son, why have you treated this like this? Your father and I have been worried about you. We have been looking for you everywhere. Have your parents ever said that to you? Right? And he says, you were looking for me? Didn't you know I had to be in my father's, and it's a capital F, which means God, right? House, but they did not understand what he meant by that. Hmm. So then he went back to Nazareth with them, and it says that his mother, and, and so let's look. If you've got your Bible, and you should, I want you to go to chapter 2, verse 51, and this might sound familiar. It says his mother kept all these things like a secret treasure oh. in her heart. And Jesus became wiser and stronger and more and more pleasing to God and yeah. people. So she kept it in her heart. She kept it in her heart, right? She's holding on to promises that God has told her. And she's having to kind of be patient and understand what is the plan that God has here. Because Jesus really hasn't shown exactly who he is to everybody just yet. He waits until age 30. Age 30. 30. The Bible wow. says it was about 30 years old that he began to what? To do, at least be public, be public. with miracles and pretty much be like, I'm the Messiah. Wow. So that was a long time from 12 to around 30. Mary had to be very patient to wait to see that what God had promised to her when she was just pregnant with him, yeah. that it came all that way but she had to wait and be patient that's right and she had to trust that god is with her i'll do it too 
Okay. You do it too. Just like our pretzels. Yep. While we wait. Mm. Mm. Now, we all have to wait for things at times, and it's not always hard, but we have to trust not God. It's easy. And God yeah. is always faithful to keep his promises true. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know what? We have another worship song that talks about us slowing down and trusting in God and being patient, right? Mm -hmm. That what he says is true. Good. While we're singing our song, I might boil some pretzels up. Thanks. Nice. To wait for all the things that I want Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long To get the things I want What I think I need But I know you know what's best for me I'm gonna live what I believe I'm gonna wait Cause I know you're still working I'm gonna have patience Cause it'll be worth it I'm gonna have faith I know you have a purpose Just need to slow down and trust that you are working all of this out. You know the things I want, what I think I need, but I know you know what's best for me. I'm gonna live what I believe. I'm gonna wait, cause I know you're still working. I'm gonna have patience, cause it'll be worth it. I'm gonna have faith, I know you have a purpose. I'm gonna Slow down, I'm gonna trust that you're working it out. I'm gonna hold up, slow down, I'm gonna trust that you're working it out. I'm gonna hold up, slow down, I'm gonna trust that you're Wow, just to give you a quick update, what we've done is we have boiled our dough for 15 seconds in water and baking soda, and then we have Ooh. put them on a tray, only do this with a parent, and put it in the oven with a little salt on top, and now we're waiting about 15 minutes, and while we wait for that, I think we need to do our challenge. So we have to wait 15 minutes before we oh, can eat them? they're gonna be so good. Well, then they're gonna be hot, so we're gonna have to be patient. We're not gonna be able to eat them yet. All right. <laughs> Well, like you said, let's go to challenge time while we wait for our pretzels. Okay. Mm. So last week's challenge was two parts. You had to name all four people who were part of the Bible lesson from Ooh. last week. Yep. So the father and mother were Isaac, Isaac and Rebecca. Correct. And then who were the two sons? Uh, Esau and Jacob. That's right. Good job. And then the other part of the question was the birth order of Mr. Chris and I and our families. All right. I believe I told you I have three brothers. So my mom had four boys and I am the oldest. You are of the, the oldest. Three boys. Yep. Now I have a brother. So it's just my brother and me. And I'm also the oldest. Ooh. So if you guessed oldest and oldest and gave the four names from the Bible lesson, then you are a winner. Great job. <laughs> All right, so the challenge for this week is... This is a hard one. Are you guys up for... But you can do it. A challenge? You're going to have to be patient. 
as you do it. Okay, so we mentioned in today's lesson that the Bible said in the book of Luke that Jesus was 30 years old when he went into his public ministry. Yes. Okay, well, right before that, huh. there's something that Jesus did. What was that? That what is your challenge it? for this week. It's hard. Look it up. But you can do it. <laughs> It's fish off time! Boom! All right, today it's fun with pasta. We have three penny noodles. We have spaghetti noodles here. We're gonna put it in our mouth. We're gonna see how many we can get on the noodle in 30 seconds or when our production person says time. And the first one to do it will be the winner. This has to be in our mouth. And our hands have to be like this. Why do I have to be like this? We're showing God's love for us <laughs> while we wait, all right? right? Don't try to talk with a spaghetti noodle in your mouth. You can't understand a word. We're trusting God <laughs> while we wait because we have our arms crossed. All right, ready? I'm this morning. They're ready! We, we, well, one of them is we've been baking. The pretzels oh. are ready! Oh. Boy, don't those look good. Oh. I can't wait to put some mustard on them and they're still nice and warm. Oh. Well, this is actually when we're supposed to be doing the meatloaf moment. Oh, okay. Our meatloaf moment for today is while we tape and film <laughs> each week, Meatloaf is not allowed to be present because he gets too excited when we talk. And he barks. And he barks. And he goes, whoa, whoa, whoa. So do you want to know what he does while we're taping? While we tape, he is hiding out in the bathroom. <laughs> let's you want to see, see what he's doing? What he's let's doing. go see what he's doing. All right, let's see if Meatloaf's being patient as he waits. Well, we've waited all morning long for these pretzels. I think it's time to dig in and try one. Let's try. All right. Mm, looks amazing. Let's give it a short shot. Um, and was Meatloaf being patient earlier? Um, not the best. <laughs> Look like he was really good. Out. Oh, man. Mm. 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 All right, we'll see you next week. All right, so we're making soft pretzels, so we're gonna put our yeast in the bowl. And then we have a cup and a half of the warm tap water. And we're gonna mix this around and get it all together. And once we get it all mixed in, we're gonna wait for a minute and a half to get ready to mix in the rest of the ingredients. So once we have it all mixed in and wait for that, we'll be right back. All right, so we waited a minute and I used the whisk to finish up getting all those clumps mixed in. And we made it a minute and a half to let the yeast start to activate. Now it's time to put our salt in. There's our salt. And then a little brown sugar, dump that in. And we're gonna mix this around with the whisk real quickly. And then we're gonna start working in the flour. So the flour, we're just gonna slowly start mixing in. And we're gonna put some in at a time. And we're gonna use our wooden spoon to mix that. And put our whisk down over there. We're gonna slowly start mixing this in and it's gonna slowly start forming into a clump. And that clump is gonna be that dough. And once the go get dough gets to a good spot, we're gonna make sure that we knead it with our hands. And we'll be showing you that, but let me dump a little more flour in here. And you just slowly put it in, get it mixed all around. Oop, make a noise too. Oop. I'm gonna see as it gets a little firmer, it's gonna start pulling that flour right off the side walls, but it's still gonna be real sticky right now. So we're gonna to need to add more flour. Now all the three cups of flour is in. We probably will need to add a little bit more for my recipe. And once we get this all mixed together, we'll go ahead and show you what the ball looks like and then we'll knead it together, okay? 